Hello, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to set up your computer to and and things and Unity project to do some VR uh, development um, for Android so that you can get it onto your a VR application using Unity built into a um, APK file and then use it with your Android phone. Let me just get mine out of my case. So I'm using a, a Huawei, a Huawei, and you could use, you know, a Samsung or anything else. And specifically, I'm going to do this for cardboard. Um, so Google VR. Um, I'm using an old uh, Gear VR made by Samsung. Um, headset. So you'll need some kind of uh, cardboard or equivalent headset. If you've got a Dream VR, by the way, um, made by Google, then you could use that in a, a very close, similar way to what I'm going to do. And all I do not do here is a bit of a little physical hack. I just lift this little notch. Sorry, I can't see that. I lift that notch there where the... Is it a mini... No, sorry, not the mini USB. This side. And I put my phone underneath that. Can you see that? Underneath there. And then... No, I've got this wrong. I've got this wrong. Sorry. On the right-hand side, you need the mini USB bit, which used to go in the bottom of my, my Samsung phone. So you put that bit, you put your phone underneath that bit, and then this side, you can kind of press it in. <laughs> as easy as this. There we go. <laughs> Press it in um, with your hands. Off camera is very easy. There you go. And then you've, I've got basically a Google Cardboard but made out of plastic. So obviously the buttons won't work because we're not plugged into the mini USB. There you go. That's what I'm using. So in this tutorial, you'll be able to view VR on um, an equivalent headset using Unity. Uh, for Android, you can do this for um, Apple iOS as well. And... The links that I'm going to provide from Google and things, um, you'll be able to follow this, the, the steps on, on here to do this for um, iOS. Right, so I haven't got a, a Unity project ready, so I'm going to try and make it kind of from scratch. So, I've got some tabs ready. So, three basic steps. Here we are. First, on your phone, you need to enable developer options. And it sounds complicated, but it's very easy. You open up the settings. Then go to system about phone, and then this is like a secret code. You tap. Um, see if I can find the right screen. So you go to um, settings. Where are we? Settings. There we go. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah, settings, and then we go to uh, what was it? About this phone? No. System. System, which is down the bottom on mine. Down the bottom, and then about phone is at the top. There we go, and then. You scroll to the bottom and tap build number seven times. Uh, where's build number? Ah, build number. Mine's not at the bottom. Mine's the third, third down. There we go. Build number. And then you tap that seven times, and then you get a little message, and um, and developer options will be enabled. And that's just so it's very simple that you can switch on um, USB debugging. It basically means that once you've built your APK file, which is your your app file. So I'm, I've got a new puppy, and he's making a lot of noise in the other room. Let's get the puppy in. Wait a minute. Um, anyway, so what was I saying? You can um, uh, then transfer your APK file, which is your, your app, your VR app, which is built in Unity, to your phone. If you haven't got this setting enabled, you won't be able to do that. So I'll, I'll leave a link to the, these instructions. Um, uh, but what do we basically have to do? Oh yeah, at the top of the developer options screen, you can toggle the options on and off. You probably want to keep this on. Um, next, you want to scroll down and enable USB debugging. That's the main thing. You can't do that before you've enabled these developer options. Okay, hopefully that will, that will make a bit of sense. Let's get this dog sorted. Dotty, come. Come here, good dog. Come on, let's get on. To, let's get some. No, oh, no, she's gone. She's gone. Imagine how many views we'd get if we could get a puppy on. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Do you want to? Do you want to? Oh yes, you do. Oh, good girl. There we go. This is Dot. 
Yeah. Look at that. Sub now. Subscribe now. No, don't subscribe. Go to a better channel. But there we are. Are you happy? Alright. Okay, if you want to get down, you just let me know. You sit on my knee. Because you're up to something out there. It's either pooing or or eating plants. There's a plant here that you can see, isn't there? Anyway, right, let's get back down to let's get back to this. So we've got developer options on. That means if if we're able to build anything, we can then build a thing. Right, the main thing. That was the that was a fiddly bit, but very easy to do. You're just switching on the the developer options on your phone so that you can transfer the files via the USB. Then we want to go to this site, which is um, like a, an overview for how to get things going with Unity. Let's let the dog down. I'm going to go down now. See you later on. Um, so we want to set up the developer environment. That is Unity. Download the Google um, VR SDK. That means Software Developers Kit which is this, okay, this is the latest one. I just, I hadn't done any programming or any, uh, made any videos for a long time, and I thought, let's just get the latest version, see if it works, um, see if I can get it working rather quickly. And it was very easy, so Google did a fantastic job making this as easy as possible. Um, then import the Google VR Unity package into Unity, that will give you everything you need for, for you to use um, VR, and to then build a VR app. I can't wait to find out what the dog is doing in there. And then configure settings. Okay, so here are all the instructions. Basically, if you haven't downloaded Unity yet or you've downloaded Unity and got it running but you haven't got Android build support, you need this. That allows you to build Android apps. So, check. <laughs> check that and make sure you do that. Okay. Um, then you can go ahead and all you can do this at any point download the unity package you want not the source code but you want this top package here which will give you which will give you this package there that we've got on the desktop right we've got that so let's go into unity and show you the programming bit hopefully what i've got in mind which i've done which was a lot easier than i thought it was going to be is we'll just create a simple scene where you can move your head around and let's say tilt your head like this so this is on the z-axis and that will allow you to move forward and you could do movement through um, through touching a button my other Google Cardboard headset which only costs like $5.99 something like that has got like a little button on and that's equivalent to mouse zero so clicking the, the left uh, mouse button um, and you could easily use the code that I'm going to use to make you go forward. But I like the idea that you don't need any buttons, no controllers, and you've just got a headset. And then do that with your head, and then it'll allow you to go forward. And if you can do that, you could change it to, to using a button or a controller quite easily. Um, so we want this to be called, let's say, uh, VR Tucked um, December 2019. I should try and put this into my GitHub. Uh, repo foldery thing. Where is that going to be? That's going to be in documents, in video tutorials, Unity scripts. Yeah, let's put it in there. Okay. Hopefully, I put that in the right place, and I'll be able to create a. If I can create a repository. Um, then I'll be able to link you to this code as well, or this whole project, sorry, as well. And um, that'll make your lives a little bit easier. Right, I've disappeared. So I need to make my Unity environment a bit smaller, a bit skinnier. There we go. I don't think I've got the latest version. Like, is it 19 now? Two, uh, Unity 2019, something like that. Okay, so you can just about see me. I don't want the microphone anything to be shown. There we go. Right. Hello, welcome back. So we've got a basic scene here. Um, we want the inspector to be seen. Your layout may be a little different. So first thing we want to do is drag this um, package over to our asset folder. Um, so that's the Google VR for Unity folder, the latest one as of... Um, 22nd of December. Merry Christmas, by the way. 
I haven't said that. So we're going to import everything. I don't know when I started this video. I want it to be about... <laughs> this is a tradition. I'll say a, a length of time, and then I usually do about three times as long. I've rambled on for ages. I, I, I want it to be about 15 minutes. So if I can do this in under half an hour or something. That will be lovely. Okay, so then you'll have this folder. Um, then <laughs> we want to go and find some kind of prefab. I've forgotten what to do. Oh, prefabs. Or maybe open the demo scene. Let's do that. Right. What I advise you to do. Um, I've gone into demos. Sorry, assets, Google VR. I've gone into demos and then scenes, and we've got Hello VR. That might be the, the, the most basic scene. So if we double click on that, yes, we've got this scene going. And if I just run that, um, I'll explain why we want to open this up. So what you can do in order to control things, to simulate having a, a headset on, like that, you can press, is it Alt? Yep, and then use the mouse. I'm just using a trackpad here. And that simulates you moving your head around um, in a 3D VR environment. Okay, so this is Google VR's demo scene. Um, I don't see a reticle actually being shown. Oh, this handy dialog thing is telling me what to do. Please select a supported Google VR platform. Right. So this is set up to work on a on a, a desktop at the moment. So let's stop things. So the first thing you need to do is go down to build settings and then we want to switch the platform to Android because I want to build an Android um, system. We also want the uh, texture compression to be ETC2 or GLES 3.0 uh, for the best performance and best kind of aesthetics, best look that's available, and we can leave build system to that. Okay. And we want to add this, we don't want to add this scene yet. Okay, so now we go to switch platform. If I had done this before opening this scene, this um, process would be a lot quicker. So what we're basically doing is we're going to get rid of this scene except for the, the camera and the player and then make our own terrain and then save that scene as you know our own scene and then you've got a basic scene ready once you've added a script to get you moving around then you've got um, like a base foundation code for building different kinds of VR um, games and simulations and things but I think what most people want is to be able to fly around. So that's what I'm going to show you. So that just involves one easy script, which I've already built, but I want to try and do from scratch. It's basically using the transform, um, translate function on the transform to move you forward. So it's just grabbing hold of the camera component, um, which is in the Google VR's, what they call it? It's built now. Um, uh, what is it called? Player. Player um, game object. Right. So, first thing, let's go to file and then save scene as, and we'll save that as uh, my first VR scene. I think my dog is opening or eating Christmas presents. I know, I'll get, I'll get her in this room, then close the door, and then I can concentrate. Okay, Dottie, come, and she can have a treat. Treat. Dottie, come. Good girl. Right. You have a treat. Thank you for coming. Come. Good girl. Right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we can concentrate. You good girl but hopefully you haven't destroyed Christmas in the other room. Oh my gosh, right. Uh, so we've saved this scene as our own, then we want to basically delete the stuff that we don't need. So we need the event system. Oh, let's just, sorry, let's play it now. 
and we should see a, what's it called, a reticle? Uh, no, we don't see that. Ah, we need to go to player settings, virtual reality supported is checked, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's go to build settings, that's where you can find player settings, down here. And then, right, um, let's call my company um, tutorials, there we go, or no, let's call it RH uh, Tuts, RH Tuts for Red Hen Tutorials. Um, product name, uh, yep, we'll call that that. Um, okay, so we want VR supported, and then we want to check um, cardboard. So this is where, if you're developing for the Oculus Rift or uh, Daydream, um, you can select those. I haven't experimented with those yet because I don't have those devices. So I'm just going to cardboard, which is a very um, standard but um, uh, fruitful platform to use. Okay, then uh, let's set up our package name. So we want to call this um, a company that we've used up here, which was RH Tuts. Right. Dotty, don't you eat those plants down there? I had a little rustle. And then the product name wants to match uh, what we said at the top, uh, which is that. So let's just copy and paste. So this is kind of important what I'm doing here. This needs the default and the conventional way of doing this is company name and then the name of your um, the name of your of your app. Uh, you want to keep this nice and consistent. Also, the version code. If you're building and then the 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 building won't complete or there's some kind of incompatibility, it's usually a problem here where you need um, to keep your version code, or every time you make a new one, you want the version code to increment by one um, and not to have like conflicts and things here. You want the API level to go to 4.4 KitKat. And then there's one more thing to do for optimization, really. We want to pre-bake the collision meshes. That will make it run significantly faster on your mobile platform. Um, uh, there's one more thing to do. So what have we done? We've uh, got a company name, product name. We've um, enabled uh, virtual reality, VR. We've chosen our platform we want, uh, cardboard. Um, version number we can leave at the moment. Um, we've changed the package name to be consistent. That we can now stay the same. The version, the, the bundle version code we might update. Um, particularly if you're up uploading this to the Play Store, you need to be really consistent. Um, and we've, uh, for optimization, pre-baked the collision meshes. Then actually, error logging, we might switch all of those off for efficiency. Dotty, I've just got to go and rescue the dog from eating something it shouldn't eat. Dot, give me that piece of wood here. <laughs> right, where did the dog even get this from? My goodness, you want... Oh, I know. You play with this mouse, eh? Hey? Here's this mouse. There you go. Have I got anything else? There's an owl. Ah, here you go. Here's a chew toy. Have a chew toy. Good girl. Oh! Apologies, and thank you for... Um... <laughs> if you're still watching, thank you for putting up with this. This doggy nonsense. Right. Um, publishing settings, right, particularly if you want to upload to the Play Store later on and make millions of pounds and dollars, then you'll need a key store. So creating this is, I find this uh, a little bit fiddly, so I'll show you how to do it. So you want to create a new uh, key store, then you want to browse the key store, which is just a folder, um, and let's call this, I don't know, RH Tuts key store, something like that. Uh, so this is just in your folder in your project folder, um, and then a password, there we go, I'm going to use my traditional password, and then you want to create a new key here, ah, it's playing, so the dog, the dog is playing with the toy, brilliant, things are going to plan, create a new key, and then, I don't know, alias, I don't know, um, RH Tuts, again, 
or red hen. Uh, password. I'm just putting in the same password as I did here, <laughs> which I think is a good idea. Confirm that. There we go. Um, I don't think you'll need anything else. Create that key. Obviously, if you are going to the Play Store or you're planning on being professional and things, put in all the accurate um, information there. Now, we can, instead of going to unsigned, we can choose that red hen key. Okay. So that means we can build the application, it'll go to our phone, no problem, um, and we can publish it on the site and everything. So we've got that ready. Let's go to save project now. So that will save all those player settings and things like that. Every time you have to start up Unity again, and you want to build the application, you may have to go to, uh, oh, I think the dog needs to go outside. Right, let's try and finish the video. Um, uh, you'll have to go to the publishing settings down here and, and re-enter the password. So if it doesn't build, that will be the, the reason. Right, okay. Um, we're going to add the open scene in the build settings. You would think that would happen automatically, but it doesn't. So we want that there. And then we could we could build this, this scene now, and we could get it onto our um, headset, onto our phone. Right. Um, Let's finally press play, and hopefully now things will be working as I expected. Yes, now you can see the reticle, um, and you see how it interacts with the uh, the environment in the way Google wanted to. Okay, but you can't move forward. Um, so I'm pressing Alt, the Alt key, and using the mouse to look around, and that simulates. It gives you a way of testing your your scene before you use it in the in the um, headset. Um, if you press Control. You can then simulate this, and this is what I'm going to use for movement. I think if you you know move it by like five degrees, something like that, that's a nice way to move forward without straining the player's neck and without needing any buttons or controllers. So you can mark it to uh, biggest uh, proportion of people. Right. So let's do some coding, and the final thing we need to do. Um, so let's de delete the the treasure. The cube room, uh, preview main. You can delete most of these things, I believe, and you could just leave the player, and you'll be okay. Um, so delete those, and what I'm going to do is create um, create a new empty, and I'll say uh, gvr stuff, and then. We could select everything except for the player. Oh. Put it in Google VR stuff, and that will tidy up our um, hierarchy. I just press play again just to test that that hasn't broken anything. Um, although we can't really see now, we're moving around. Um, things should be uh, things are at least appear to be working. So. We'll create, um, in fact, a 3D object, a cube. And that'll be our floor, or ground, we'll call that. Um, let's just make that very big. So on the x-axis, 100. Z-axis by 100. Lovely. Does that give us a better indication that things are working now? Yes. So things are still working. OK, you can look around. But we want to be able to move. So in our assets folder, I'm just going to create a new C sharp script, and we'll call that um, locomotion. And this is going to be attached to our player. I always like to call the player the subject. So I'm going to change that to subject, and so that's going to go here. Okay. So to open up the script, we can double click on him and he or she will pop up. I've got mono developer as my default uh, script editing suite. By the way, this is the, the first video I've made in ages. Thank you very much to all the subscribers um, who have subscribed. Um, after I stopped making videos for a while, uh, maybe about four months, something like that. So hello. Right. 
Um, and so that's why this video is so bad. Because <laughs> uh, I'm out of practice. Um, so we want to get hold of the camera, the camera that's attached to the Google VR objecty thing. So I'm going to say public, and then we can just drag the camera in the inspector. So public, um, what even is it? We want its transform. Public transform, and I'll call that my cam. Okay, uh, that needs to be a capital letter. There we go. So let's go and sort that out. So now, if we click on our subject and have a look at the locomotion um, script, that's not doing anything because maybe I forgot to save it. Yep, haven't saved the script, so the changes won't be percolated through to um, Unity. Um, this, this will change, I have confidence, in a few seconds. There it is. Right, so it's waiting for me to populate this with a transform. So, in player or subject, we've got the main camera, which is the camera through which uh, the player will be looking, or at which the player will be looking. Um, this is, by the way, something you can fiddle with for optimization. If you reduce this far distance, you will get um, better, uh, better, uh, smoother kind of like uh, smoother <laughs> operation of the headset. Uh, when you're working with mobile VR things, you're you're constantly looking for ways to get it s as smooth as possible. Um, so I'm gonna leave that. Uh, you can experiment with that later on. Um, so this is the this is the main camera that we want. So. We just want to grab that main camera, put it in there, and we've got the transform. Okay, so now in update, we can say, let's see if I can do this without cheating, without looking at my code that I've already made. We can say, if uh, my cam, and we want the, so it's already transformed, so we want the rotation, and then we want to get hold of the Z axis. So that's when I tilt like this. So we want Euler angles, and we want the Z component of that, of that essentially 3D vector. If that is, let's say, if I'm rotating this way, it starts at 360 and then it goes backwards. So I'm gonna say if that's less than 350 F, because we want it to be a floating point number, uh, but it, and, and it's greater than uh, 340, then I want us to move. So we want to we want to say um, let's have a move um, variable. We want to say this move. Um, Plus plus. No, we want <laughs> we want to make that up here. We want it to be nothing at the moment. Then we want to add to that number. Then we want to move um, times equals time dot delta, delta time. That just means that um, across uh, mobile devices or whatever platform you're on, it smooths out the, um, the, uh, the, <laughs> I'm not explaining this very well. It basically means it doesn't matter what machine you're running on or how fast or slow it's running, it makes it equal across machines. There we go. That's why I've used that there. Um, and then we can say this. We can say this transform. So that means uh, the subject's transform because this script is attached to this game object. So this transform, and then we can get hold of, we can use the, the translate function. So that will take a vector three. So that's a direction and a magnitude. So we want, um, uh, to say move, um, no we don't, we want to say <laughs> the vector we want is my my camera's forward 
because that's the direction it's looking, times this move variable, so this float. There we go. So this is going to be a unit vector. That means uh, just the, the, just one in one unit in the direction that we're facing times this kind of like a scalar. So we'll get bigger and bigger every time um, you move your head. Um, then it might be a good idea to, this is kind of like a very basic physics engine. We might want to times that by 0.996. And that would be like friction, so it's basically saying, uh, sorry, times equals. Um, so every time we're, we're not like rotating our head, the move is getting a lot smaller. So it will be like we're, we're using like a thruster to move us slightly forward. Right, that should be everything we need to do. So let's, I, have I saved the script? Save the script. Um, try to run this. If there are any bugs, it will stop us now. I think it's actually running. Oh, there's a phone call from my wife. There we go. Hello. Hello. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, tikka masala. Okay. Uh, we'll do. Okay. See ya. Bye. There we go. How how real is this video? Okay. Right. <laughs> Does it work? So we can look around as normal, and then to simulate again that tilting movement, press Control, and then we can tilt the right way. Is that making us walk forward? Maybe if I go this way, have I got it the wrong way around? Oh, sorry, I've, gonna, I've done it the wrong way around. But there we are, we are now moving forward. There we go. And uh, we could look uh, towards the ground. And yes, move around. We might be able to go through the ground because we haven't got a collider on us. There we go. Lovely. So that's how to do basic movement um, in using VR. Ah. Uh, and then we can now go to build settings, um, build, and that will give you an APK file. Let's just try that now. Um, we'll call that uh, uh, my uh, uh, dog, dog phone. I've got a phone call and a dog doing stuff in this video. I cannot sign the application. I'm able to pre please provide passwords. I'm sure I signed this. I've... Oh, I haven't put my password in there. Try and build now. There we go. Um, I forgot what I was saying. This is probably the worst video. <sighs> but we've done it. This might help some people. You know, we've gone into player settings. You can now fly in VR. Dog is right, Get the dog on. Save everything with the dog. Come on, Dotty. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Look, see? See? <laughs> You're right. You got anything to chew? No. It's taking a while. I've got to do the thing that my uh, my wife has asked me to do on the phone. Uh, as soon as possible. Right, let's, so let's end the video there. Uh, Merry Christmas. I hope this is helpful. Put any questions or complaints <laughs> in, the, in the comments and I'll, I'm pretty good at answering questions. So I can help you out. Um, basically, this would bring up a, a folder, your APK file, and then you just need to attach your phone uh, using your USB or mini USB um, wire and then cable. And then um, um, you might need to download, like, on the Mac, it's got some automatic application. You might need a, a means by which you can just drag the folder into your um, folder here um, onto your phone's memory. And I'm using, by the way, um, let me just open this up. E, what's it called? Uh, ah, what's it called? 
um, it's something like e ES File Explorer on Android, ES File, File Explorer, and that's what I just use to be able to go and have a look on the folders and files on my phone, and I can go and find that APK file, you click on that, um, um, you may get some problems with it being an unrecognized um, uh, company, i.e. you, um, not allowing you to install it, but just say install anyway, um, if you accidentally press cancel, it won't allow you to install that um, um, APK or equivalent ever again. Um, so you, all you have to do is go back to player settings and change the bundle name maybe, change the name of your application and the bundle number, things like that, and then you'll be able to install it, don't worry. Um, but there you go. Okay, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, goodbye from Dot, um, and apologies for the quality of this uh, educational video. <laughs> goodbye.